Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of 5-Minute Gaming News, the show that may or may not be five minutes. Today in the news, it looks like the last generation of consoles has finally come to an end. I know, I, I thought it already ended, but no, it looks like Microsoft has finally confirmed it'll no longer be making games for the Xbox One. We've moved on to Gen 9, Xbox Game Studios head Matt Booty told Axios, referring to Xbox Series XS. While there won't be native Xbox One versions of Series XS games like Forza Motorsports, Xbox One players will be able to stream current gen first party titles, such as Turn 10's Racer through Xbox Cloud Gaming, included with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. And if what I just said to you sounded completely insane, don't worry, it was insane to read. I had a problem with it. Xbox One, Xbox Series S, X, X this, X that, it's a lot. And I feel like that is an inherent problem with Xbox and its marketing and trust me, I wanna make a video, I'm, we're writing the script, we're doing our research, it's, I have a lot of Xbox related questions. But when it comes to the Xbox One, that's it. It's a long time coming. I think we all knew it was gonna happen. I thought it would have happened sooner rather than later, but here we are. Maybe it was because of, of COVID-19. Maybe it was because of the price point. Maybe, I, I, I don't know. Maybe for a lot of reasons, it was because of a lot of different things, but it finally occurred. And Sony isn't too far behind on the next gen only train. Spider-Man 2, which is releasing this October, will only be available on the PS5. And DLCs like Horizons Forbidden West Burning Shores and even Cyberpunk's Phantom Liberty are only available on their respective next-gen systems. Which begs the question, have we finally reached the threshold where enough players are on the next-gen consoles that that becomes current-gen, where it's expected that everything's going to be made for that? Because, you know, a great example is as a Final Fantasy XIV player, a lot of the problems that people have with various graphical things are because it keeps having to deal with the requirements of the previous generation. For a while, they were still trying to make PS3 users happy. And as technology gets better and better and better and games require more and more of that tech, are we gonna see shorter life cycles for consoles or is it gonna be as big and as extended as the previous one, which was long by console standards. I mean, like I'm fine. I don't need a PS6 anytime soon, but I'm curious what you think about that. Do you think that as the graphics cards get bigger and the processing power needed becomes greater and games themselves, I mean, just look at the size of download games right now. 80 gigs, 100 gigs, 120, if not more. And most of the hard drives and consoles are like, maybe a terabyte, maybe if we're lucky. I don't know, a lot to consider. And uh, I can't wait to see what the hell Xbox and PlayStation do in the future. Speaking of Xbox, I know a lot of people were curious about this. So I feel like this is a good story and sort of a follow-up to Redfall. It appears, Arcane Austin, which has put out some amazing stuff, despite Redfall not being good at all, doesn't seem like the studio's in any kind of trouble and they should be fine. As reported by Video Games Chronicle, Redfall received its first major patch on Monday, delivering incremental improvements to gameplay, combat, AI, environment, stability, multiplayer, accessibility, UI, and various bug fixes. And in that article on the subject of Arcane Austin's future, the head of Xbox Studios, Matt Booty, shared, it was a miss, but how much of a miss? I wanna support them to be able to keep working to deliver the game they had in mind. I feel accountable that we could have done a better job with Arcane, Booty added, echoing recent comments from Xbox boss, Phil Spencer, which is good. We need more of this and, less whatever the hell EA does when a game doesn't do well, they just destroy studios left and right. So I'm thankful Arcane's gonna get another shot at it, or at least another chance to create a great Arcane game. Matt, Phil, the whole Xbox team should take this as a chance to realize that maybe they should be a little bit more invested in what's coming out and take a look and have a little bit more oversight and not push companies to do things they're not familiar with. And while I know Redfall was in development before the whole Microsoft thing, it is their responsibility as sort of the caretakers to look over it and make sure they can do whatever they're creating justice. Sometimes you gotta say no. Speaking of, apparently now is not one of those times because it's time for your Cren Minute. <music> 
Hello everybody, how's it going? It's me, Krendor. Welcome back to the Kren Minute, my once a week segment where I get to talk about whatever I want for a minute. This week, we're talking about hobbies because I realized that it's been about four years since I got back into Warhammer. And uh, obviously, I'm still doing that quite a bit. And it's been great. And I wanted to recommend to people to just go out and just, you know, try doing some hobbies. You don't have to go out. You can stay in, right? You got like drawing, you got painting, you got Warhammer, you got, I mean, it could be, it doesn't have to be like something, you know, creative, but you can do like sports, right? You go walking. I don't know. What are some other hobbies? Uh, knitting. <laughs> you can pick up knitting, uh, crocheting. Uh, there, listen, there's a bunch of stuff you could do, right? But I feel like everybody every once in a while needs to be reminded like, yo, pick up a hobby, right? Do something that's going to take your mind off the stresses of life and allows you to just, you know, escape for a little bit because everybody needs that. And that's my crime minute. Thanks, Crendor. Anyway, that is it for the show. Thanks so much. We'll be back on Monday. See you then for another episode of 5 Minute Gaming News. Are you the child of a celebrity looking to rep a YouTuber? Hi, I'm King of the Web, Jesse Cox, and I have a solution for you. Coming this weekend is a 20% off sale at store.jessecox.com. It won't take a bite out of your wallet. We've got pins. We've got beanies. We've got hoodies. We've got jackets. We've got t-shirts. All for the magical deal of 20% off. We'll rep you real good.